Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial on how to install Cyanogen mod onto your Android device. So, from this point onwards, we'll be working on your phone itself and it will be basically moving towards deleting everything on your phone and installing a completely new OS. So, let me repeat that, deleting everything. So please, back up, back up, back up because everything is going to be gone, like everything. So back up everything on your phone and once you have backed up, and you can check Google for that, there are a lot of tutorials on how to back up various things. Uh, once it's backed up, then we're all good to go. Now, once your phone is backed up and set, turn off your phone and then turn it back on into fast boot mode. And in order to activate fast boot mode, you just have to follow the instructions here, which is basically just to press and hold your power on button and your volume up button at the same time. So just press and hold both at the same time, and you will, after 5 to 10 seconds, come to this screen, which just says fast boot. Now, once you're in that screen and, plugged your, and you plug your phone back into your computer, you're all set to go. So go ahead and run command prompt, type in CMD, right click and run as administrator. And now to check if your phone is in fast boot mode, just type fast boot devices. And you should see your phone's serial number together with the word fast boot. Next, we want to unlock your phone. So type fast boot OEM unlock. So just do fast boot OEM unlock and hit enter. Now I've done this already on my phone, so I'm not going to do it again. But for all of you, just do this. It should see something like OK unlocked or something like that. Um, and once that's done, just go ahead to turn off your phone and turn it back on into fast boot, uh, fast boot mode. So let me repeat that. Turn off your phone and then turn it back on using the instructions to get into fast boot. Once you're in fast boot again, now we're going to flash a recovery onto your phone. So a recovery is basically something that um, allows you to install the OS. And so to get that recovery, remember earlier on in the first tutorial, the first part of this tutorial, I told you guys to download this thing called TWRP, blah, 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 so on and so forth. We're going to install this now. So first we have to change our directory in order to where this is at. So hit CD and go over to where, uh, and copy over, and copy the file directory. So right now mine is in C, users, owners, app data, blah, 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 and so forth. Control C, come over here, CD, right click, paste, and click enter. And you should see um, the first part of your command prompt change to the directory that it's at. Next, type fastboot, sorry, uh, yep, type fastboot flash recovery, and then the name of the recovery file, which should be this one that we have over here. So just copy everything, come over here, right click, and paste. So once this is done, so you should see, wait, let me just drag this out a bit. Okay, can't drag it out. Okay, can't drag it out. Yeah, but once this is done, change directory, fast boot, flash recovery, paste your image, and then hit enter. Once again, I won't be hitting enter because I've already installed this, and um, in order to reinstall it, I have to do some, some other things. But for all you guys, just hit enter. It should say OK, and you're all good to go. So once all this is done, and you already have the recovery installed, then you're all set to be ready to install um, Sanogen mod on your phone. So that will be in part 3. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.